This is the solution to written homework 57. Okay, so for part A, uh, let's compute the partials of f, assuming k is a, a constant. So the x partial would be ky plus 4x. Okay, so yeah, ky plus 4x. The y partial would be kx uh, minus 3y. And <clears throat> note that these two things are always defined for any x and y. Uh, therefore, the only critical points are going to be when both partials are 0. <coughs> So notice that at 0, 0, the x partial, when you plug in 0, 0, you get 0. And the y partial, when you plug in 0, 0, you get 0. So therefore, 0, 0 is a critical point. as a result of uh, these two together. Okay, so part B. Okay, so in order to do the second partials test, we'll need the second partials. Okay. So the XX partial is 4. The yy partial is negative 3. Uh, the xy partial, that means first x then y, is k. And the yx partial that means first y, then x, is also k. So that's good. So these are the same. So we want to know uh, what values of h, what values of k, if any, would make uh, 0, 0 a minimum. Well, at 0, 0. Uh, the classifier H is the product of the pure partials. So that would be 4 times negative 3. And then minus the product of the mixed partials, so minus k squared. So that would be negative 12 minus k squared. And notice that if we consider uh, this plot, that the plot of it looks like this. So this would be the h-axis, and this the k-axis. This is a parabola that opens down. Its vertex is at negative uh, 12, 0. And as a result, 
h is going to be negative for all k. So the answer is, the answer to part b uh, is that 0, 0 is never a min. The answer to part C is that zero zero is never uh, a max. And the answer to part D is that zero zero is always a saddle. Never a min, never a max, always a saddle.